What's up YouTube and welcome back to the safe zone. My name is Cole or the Mass Reactor and today we're here with the second part of my reaction to corpse music. Now if you didn't see the first part of my reaction definitely go watch it. Those songs were so great and I can't wait to dive into this next one because as we progress through time I can only assume the songs get better and better and better but I can't wait to dive into this. If you're excited go subscribe to corpse because they're the ones making all this content, I'm just the one reacting to it, and it is good music content, so go subscribe to Corpse, please. But, after you do that, if you want to come back over here and hit the subscribe button for me, that'd be totally awesome. We are- I was about to say we were trying to hit 1.5k, but we actually hit that while I was on my break. Thank you all so much for all the support, it really means a lot. So, I think our next goal is going to be trying to hit 1.6 thousand by November 1st. I, I think we can do it. We have like half a month. I think we can totally do that, but we can only do that if you hit subscribe. But while you're down there, please make sure to leave a like as it will always help the channel. And also make sure to leave a comment on what you think I should react to next or to the video. I am always open to suggestions and I love hearing what you have to say, but I'm excited nonetheless. I say that we dive straight into this one. This first one is E-Girls Are Ruining My Life. Fair warning, I said this in my last corpse reaction, but there will be dark themes and also language in this video. So if you're uncomfortable with those things, please make sure that you stay safe. And if you don't feel like you can watch this, that's totally fine. I have other videos on my channel and there's other videos on YouTube that you can watch. So please just make sure to stay safe. So similar to the cat girls are ruining my life, but I'm interested to see what this has, what kind of take this has on it. This got like right into it. That was quick. Caught me off guard. Okay, I like I like the beat switch up there. Corpse's voice works so well for this style of song. The, the lyrical flow in all of Corpse's songs are very good. I like the underlying... Dun, 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 dun. Like, I think that's very, that's very musically pleasing. I like the slightly slowed down version of the chorus. I think that's a really creative, a good creative choice because it switches it up at the end of the song. So I think that's good. Okay, <laughs> that's not a corpse song. Ah, <laughs> no, that that's not a corpse song. Um, but okay, you know, for the first song starting off our corpse reaction, I'm actually. I, I'm not I'm not unimpressed at all. I think Corpse is really good at making music. The only thing, the only thing I have a problem with with that song is just the repetitiveness of the backing track. Now I think I loved when um let's see, featuring Savage Gasp. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but their verse where they had like the piano in the background going like dun 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 Hi, editor Cole down here. Um Listening back to it while editing, that piano bit was in the entire song. I don't know what I'm on about, so ignore that. I'm going to mention it a few more times, but the piano bit is goes through the whole song, so I don't know what I was thinking in this clip. Dun, dun. Added a nice different, like, I don't know, tone and feel to the song, which I think really helped it, and I really liked that. Now, I might have just missed it in the first half. That's very possible, but I really liked how... Uh, Savage Gasp's voice matched with that flow, like, and beat. I really liked that. But this next song is Agoraphobic, and I believe that's... Um, I know it's a fear of some, fine, uh, some kind, obviously, but... 
I think it's like a a fear of like being in out in public. If I remember correctly, I haven't taken psych in forever, but I don't know. Maybe it will probably be explained to us in the song. So let's just get right into it. Okay, already very different. We normally start out with like an 808, not a guitar. Whoa, I honestly did not expect that to move. You know what? The, I'm sorry for pausing, and I'm sure like the lyrics are about to start, but what the, this reminds me of is the artist Addison Grace. If you haven't listened to their music, go listen to it. Addison Grace is an amazing like um, music artist. And their new, like, single, Pretty Girl, is out right now. And you should definitely go listen to it, go buy it, because free promotion, and I don't care. Because they are so amazing. And I all their songs are great. So go listen to Addison Grace. Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> topic off of Corpse, but this is very, this, like, opening bit is very reminiscent of their songs. Yeah, yeah, hey. Hello. <laughs> I can't do shit right, I can't learn my lesson. Okay. I can't do shit right, take any depressants. Illness and welfare rub my adolescence. My friends probably hate me, can't answer a message. Filled with anxiety, always be hiding me. Feeling inadequate, it's always what's driving me. Not a role model, that's not what I strive to be. Can't go outside, I'm afraid they'd be finding me. I really I like how privacy. the lyrics yeah. fit with like the lo-fi beats. always asking questions about my face, can't relate. Fucking caught my own reflection, broke a mini the other day. Got a lot of bad shit that I'm taking to Ooh. my grave. Got a fucking date with death on house arrest till trial days. So I grab the red wine on rainy days and then I'm poet. Cause I'll age another fucking thousand days before I know it. Yeah, I spend them all inside. Oh my time. gosh, this is good. Rains, Cause I'm agoraphobic. That was really good. I think this one might be like up near the top for me. I really liked how that sounded. I love the lo-fi beats with like the 808 and like the rap verses. I think that fits so well. It's such a, it's such like a good vibe. And like the topics that Corpse touches on in this song are like really deep. And like, they explain a lot about Corpse's like feelings while still being a song that you can listen to like just casually. Okay. <laughs> um I, I was I know I was talking over it, but that ending did kind of lose me. Um I still think the entire song was great, definitely going on the playlist. Um, but there is just one thing, it's just the I'm not okay over and over again. While it does thematically fit where like it's just what's the point I'm not okay, I'm not okay, what's the point I'm not okay. Repeating that is very accurate to what many people with anxiety and like fear of like going outside in public like that's what they that we struggle with like i struggle with anxiety a lot and i'm always just like what's the point like I, i'm gonna mess up i'm not gonna do this i'm not i'm not okay what's the point and i'm constantly telling myself that but i constantly have to reassure myself and then i fall back so i like the repetition of those lyrics but it did get a little repetitive you know I don't know, I'm saying that a lot today, but I am no way saying any of these are bad. I think these are all really good songs. Now, this next one, I can only assume by the title, is going to throw us back into, like, the heavier side of Corpse's music, which is Hot Demon Bitches Near You. So let's listen to this one. Ooh. Okay. I really like the sound of that. No chance, you catch me down bad. Don't be nice. Oh, wow. For your head. No calling on my bitch. And she knows she at the top of the list. The flow fits really well. Okay, yeah, this is good. You know, this. I really like how this is mixed. Keep on 
saying that she never had a nigga like this. Shake it up, sit the realest nigga in the mix. Why they always acting like a nigga ain't shit? I'm really hoping that I am understanding that that is not corpse. Stuck to my body, I'm the dog, she the tip. I'm the god pussy, this ain't no motherfucking facade. Why they just me at the top? We ain't never took a loss. Hold on. I want to go back and listen to that line. That line, like, slapped. See, this ain't no motherfucking facade. That's good. That was a good line. I, one more time. One more time. Shit stuck to my body. I'm the dog. She the tip. Say your god pussy. This ain't no motherfucking facade. I love the flow of that line. That's so good. I really like this. We're already on to the next one. That that is the next one, by the way. But wow, okay. I I really liked that one too. Now, obviously, there's parts that I can't sing along to because obviously. But overall, I think that was a really well produced song. I think the music was great. The lyrics, um, I I think it said Night Howl or I'm gonna feel so bad if I just messed that up. Um, but let me go back and check. Uh, Night. Lovell, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. <laughs> Night Lovell is <laughs> is the other artist, but the way that their flow, like the, this is God pussy. They say no motherfucking facade. That line right there, oh, that one was good. That line was good. I that that's one of my favorite ones. I think it's really good. But this next one, as you saw <laughs> earlier, uh, is Poltergeist featuring Omen the ninth or no the eighth. Wait, no. That's the 13th. Because like, that's an X. So, Omen 13. I I think. But, not too sure. Anyway. I'm excited to dive in. I assume... Poltergeist with an exclamation point. I assume this is going to be like a pretty hev uh, heavy one. But, I'm excited to see. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. A thousand times, guess I'm always lucky, right? Pop some shit and fall behind. I jump the gun and take what's mine. Looking like you've seen a ghost moving like a poltergeist. Like, Wait, what's his name? I'm like, huh, what he say, bitch? I don't want you two cents. You ain't even paid, bitch. We are not the huh. same. I dropped out in seventh grade. This is a very interesting sound to it. I kind of like it. Everything you claim, bitch. You've never seen a trap or a band or only time you pushed up is when you were in Velcro. Uh, Ooh, okay. You know, talking like you gotta do shit, but you won't. I see through the shit that you do. Watch me, then steal how I move. Your label fake to break through. Fake place, fake views, and fake I'm afraid, I'm afraid. When I wake up, I see concrete. I really like this one. That, that, that verse right there did it for me. That was good. So I assume this is Omen 13. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I really, I really liked how, I really liked a lot about that one. I liked the flow of the lyrics, and I also liked how, like, I don't know. I liked how the message was conveyed. I liked the flow of the lyrics, and also the the beat in the background was very well composed. And all of that together just came together to make a really good song. And all of these ones today were actually pretty good. If I were to rate the ones from today, so I'm doing this, at, and I did this in the last my last one, but um. If I were to rate them, I would I think I would put Agoraphobic as number one. And then uh Hot Demon Bitches Near You. And then Poltergeist. And then 
e-girls are ruining my life. Now, just as the last one, that ranking is not at all saying that they are bad, that any of them is worse than the other. They are all really good for their own reasons, but in my personal ranking of which one I would listen to the most, that is my ranking, but they are all really good. You should definitely go stream these, go listen to them. Corpse deserves it, please go listen to it, go subscribe to him. But after you go subscribe to him, if you want to come back over and hit the subscribe button for me, that'd be totally amazing because we are trying to hit 1.6k by the end of October. And I think we can totally do it. We only need like maybe 90 people. And I know that y'all are watching because my, my subscriber to non-subscriber rates are pretty bad. So if you want to make that better, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. But while you're down there, please make sure to leave a like as it will always help the channel. And also make sure to leave a comment on what you think I should react to next or to the other video. I am always open to suggestions and I love hearing what you have to say. Now these songs are great and I can't wait to see you all for the next upload. Goodbye.